वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स इन माय सेकंड ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ अडोब फोटोशॉप लास्ट टाइम आई हैव कवर्ड विद सम बेसिक्स ऑफ अडोब फोटोशॉप एंड टुडे विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद सम टूल्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एज लास्ट टाइम आई हैव कवर्ड अबाउट द इंटरफेस सो प्रेजेंटली आई एम वर्किंग इफ यू सी हेयर ऑन द टॉप द ऑप्शन इज देयर like i am working in essentials actually these are some kind of a layouts suppose if i click on 3d it will change you could see it is changed then uh, motion so according to work we can change the layout like photography but i prefer working in essentials you could see it's like this and if you feel uh, it's not showing the results as you want to see there is always the option of reset essentials so if i click on this it will be in default layout as it was but i don't want to see this like learn photoshop so what i'll do i can just hide this by clicking collapse to icons i can just click it so this format is okay to me and here at the bottom you could see the layer last time also i have told you if you are not able to see the layer always f7 f7 is the function key to hide or show the layer button so presently i'll be starting with these tools this is move tool you could see here v it is used to move the image you could see here at the bottom moves a selection of layer you could see here shortcut is v and it is used to move a selection or layer that practically i'll show you now afterwards the second the second option is rectangular marquee tool it is used to select a part of image or any part in a rectangular way and keyboard shortcut is m only m and the second one is elliptical marquee tool and here also the shortcut is m only with the m you can change it it will both interchange third and fourth option it works on single marquee tool single row marquee tool it works on a single row or single column so these we will discuss afterwards first of all rectangular marquee tool firstly i'll tell you about this i'll click upon this one rectangular marquee tool and then suppose this is my basic uh, workspace now this is looking little smaller so i can always press control plus just to zoom it now i'll yeah so i'll just drag by pressing my left mouse button and you will see this mark you i'll show it in a zoomed way you could see this line selection line as a rectangle so i'll zoom out and after this one more tool i want to tell you which is used to color i'll just see here at the bottom it is gradient tool uh, shortcut is g and at the bottom comparing to this one paint bucket tool you will click upon this paint bucket tool and after clicking on this paint bucket tool at the bottom you will see set foreground color you can always click it here and when this color picker foreground color box comes in front of you you can select any color of your choice select okay and then make it final that the layer should be selected like this layer one is written you select this then only you'll be able to color it so i have selected uh, paint bucket tool red color and then see i just clicked upon the selection part and the selected part will be colored and you see the color is coming inside the part so it was a rectangular so the color has taken or just covered the whole part i hope this is clear now to remove this mark you this selected part what you have to do control d control plus d or you could do here from here also from the top d select d select control plus d you have to click so if i click it it's d selected you can see 
and if now I press this button the top one move tool just click it you could see here I can move this so I hope it is clear to you now moving towards the second elliptical mark your tool I'll click this now it is responsible to make oval shape or circle shape so I'll make one circle shape here after making a circle shape now again the same thing I'll do I'll click on paint bucket tool and after selecting the paint bucket tool I'll select the color and suppose now I'll select some yellow color and then I'll click it here always you can press caps lock key caps lock now here only plus sign you are able to see but if I'll click on caps lock you will see this paint bucket icon here so just click it and you could see the, it's filled up with the color which I have selected and then always to deselect control D I hope this concept is very much clear to you and all the time I am being I am being coloring in the same layer this is layer 1 and uh, from here suppose one more I will take elliptical mark you tool now this time I will make some oval shape like something like this and then now selecting the color suppose this time I will take green I will press the color here so I hope uh, this is also clear then control D at last to deselect so I am able to make these kind of shapes so dear students this will be your assignment that after seeing my tutorial just try to make this kind of shapes on your computer and and you have to work upon layer 1 only ok so with this I am completing my tutorial and if you like my explanation do like comment share and subscribe if you have not subscribed it earlier take care and wait for my next tutorial